Hello everybody and welcome to this next Field of Glory 2 tournament, The Rise of Carthage um, comprom Compromise? Uh, comparison. So here we are today, we're going to be looking at the two factions in the round, uh, the third round of the tournament. So this is the first Punic War, uh, but this is the setup between the Roman Carthaginian um, fight. So this Carthaginian list is 262 to 236 uh, and the Roman is 220 to 280 and the terrain type when we do this place on the tournament will be Mediterranean so we're gonna have a quick look at the forces and see what we like and remember ladies and gentlemen click that like subscribe button find go find a look at this game on Sliver and Snipe but also uh, for myself the Richard York on YouTube so without further ado let's have a look so let me just make sure I turn hot seat on so we can actually go to the other side so we're gonna have a quick look at the Roman breakdown forces to see what they're on here so let's have a look so as we've looked for the last couple of rounds we've noticed that some lists are favorable for the cavalry uh, some aren't so as you can see here um, the Roman list currently has uh, one two units of armored cavalry uh, and if we were able just to switch to the um, um, <clears throat> of course the Carthaginian list as you can see there is a choice of three elephants and two uh, a veteran and one armoured cavalry unit. So the Romans starting off with a negative uh, on their cavalry forces here. Um, if you were the Roman player, you would have to choose these both cavalry units. Um, I don't think there's any way around that. Uh, I think being out cavalried or outflanked by the Carthaginian elephants, but also the remember the elephants disordering the cavalry, uh, but also taking advantage here. So we're going to look at the next units. So as you can see, the backbone of this Roman list is the veteran Hestati principles uh, and I've got to say these units are killer very very good they're expensive at 78 points uh, but if we have a quick look at the um, Carthaginian list the best kind of infantry they have are of course warband or African spearmen there's no veteran African spearmen in the Carthaginian list so impact and swordsmen you would be silly not to take any of these Roman units in this uh, third round of the tournament um, as you can see um, the veterans are 78 points with heavy foot superior armored uh, the POA is just a massive there they are going to hit they are going to hurt and you've got to be a very smart Carthaginian player uh, to hide on the terrain uh, and use this medium foot and heavy foot in that uh, um, comparison uh, but also the Carthaginian player will have to use the elephants and the cavalry to some advantage here so this just brings us down to the uh, rank and file of the Roman army the Stati principles uh, these are 61 points they are expensive some armor above average heavy foot impact swordsmen they are not as good as the veterans but they are really good that for 61 points it is uh, pricey for that unit type um, and you can have up to eight of them if you wanted to but remember as we've seen the uh, the Carthaginian list has a good array of cavalry and elephants but also as we've seen before in the previous rounds and other lists it's the light troops as you can see uh, we can the Carthaginian list can have up to five light javelins and up to five light javelin infantry and slingers and the, unfortunately the roman can only have eight javelin and one singers so a little bit of mixed bag it might this army may be small but it's very much elite um i don't think at this point in time i would choose any more hostati principles i think having the the uh three veterans two of the four of the um general hostati principles is but we come down to by far my favorite Roman units, the Chiari, the uh, veteran uh, legions with spear. If you need anti cavalry action uh, for a Roman list, this is what it is. You don't use your cavalry, you use Chiari to block in. They may be slow, they are superior armored, uh, but, but another uh, disadvantage to this unit is it's a small unit. If it gets caught up in a uh, against a huge body of men like an enemy warband, uh, which the um, Carthaginian list does have, uh, will make it very difficult to hold your own against them. This is what I worry about from this, but I would not hesitate to have a combination of at least two. 
<coughs> excuse me, of the two TRI units uh, combined with your cavalry on an anti uh, for the anti cavalry anti Carthaginian uh, cavalry uh, action there. As you can see, we've got a nice little list here, and of course we've got 167. Depending on the battlefield, is depending if you will choose more medium troops. If it is a more open battlefield, which we'll see in a couple of weeks' time, um, it if it's open field, you will just go all heavies, uh, and then you will just max out as many javelin troops. The 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 target and the plan for the Roman player will be to disorder the elephants straight away. Um, the Carthaginian list here straight away does. If I was the Carthaginian player, I probably would choose all of the elephants combination of the and the combination of the war bands and have them in the midline to really try and outflank us. So the Roman list does not com have a massive amount of troops there. The Carthaginian can player can use numbers, but all them elephants and a good uh, a good mix of troop. But depending, it's all going to be terrain. If it's open, the Carthaginian player is going to struggle. He's going to have to max out his units to um, overwhelm the Roman player. Uh, but also, if it's a hilly I think what map are we playing? Let me just uh, flick to the thing. It is Mediterranean agricult ag agricultural. Sorry. Um, so we are going to be fighting in some um, obstacles, maybe trees. Uh, it's going to be interesting. So what we're going to do? Uh, we are just going to select, and then we'll come down to the Italian foot, which of course we've seen before in the previous rounds on both uh, nations, the Carthaginian, but also uh, Ferific and other ones. Um, so we've got medium foot we've got of course the uh, raw legendaries here that I don't think I'll take them they're too bad they're too bad to take especially the raw the, the raw and protected even the histati principles have some armor uh, and then we come down to the javelins and of course the slingers which is a good to have a mix of all them units so 23 points I need to add this up properly next time to do it better 47 points would probably be you see 60 points there. I think not having the light troops to fight his light troops is a massive disadvantage here. So as many as you could get. Um, I could probably could do a better combination there, but we'll leave that as it is. So look at the units, solid Roman list. It will all depending on terrain if you go more heavies, because currently we have all heavy troops. Uh, Triari for anti-cavalry action, mixed in with our cavalry. We also have the Startai and the veteran principles go in there and absolutely just hammer, hammer them senseless. Um... We don't really need to do the battle groups because it's just a, a look at it. But it's a good list, but it can get outnumbered. It can get um, demaneuvered if the Carthaginian player is playing at his best. Uh, and I didn't click the hot seat in time. My fault. So we'll just go back to the main menu and go back to that. Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll just click back to that. I'm sure I didn't accept the uh, the hot seat in that in that in that game, so we'll just do it here. So uh, but yeah, look at the Roman list. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. I'd be uh, I'm very scared of the Roman side to that. Um, let's make sure my hot seat's turned on. So there we go. Now we're going to look at the Carthaginian list. So, uh, an interesting mix. It's changed throughout this uh, tournament and the rounds. Um, so as we said before, we're just looking at the uh, the list, how what combinations are good. And but like I said, later, if you got anything to say below, just type a comment below. Be interested to see your thoughts and things to it. So as we're going to start at the top. Believing elephants are amazing. Uh, elephants supported will will really dish damage out, but unfortunately, if you let them get hit by lots of ranged fire, they will just be decimated, uh, and they'll send you packing. So, as you can see, disorder your cavalry. So make sure when you're deploying them, you're not deploying them next to your cavalry. Uh, but also, if you can try to engage them so they're hitting the enemy cavalry, that's always good. But remember, I think the Roman list does have um, armored cavalry, so that cavalry is more likely to evade uh, and not take you on here. So then we come down to the veteran veteran and uh, veteran armored and armored noble cavalry two decent units so we could actually have five in total there but depending on the battlefield and what terrain type uh, if it's an open field these three elephants will be going straight down the center straight down the center um, probably like this or some different and I'd probably even want to put the bombard um, the bombard of the what do you call it um, the warbands there. That's what we want to do. Is have the warband combination. 
uh, mixed together uh, to hit impacts. So as you can see there, they've got no capabilities. The uh, I don't know if we can click. There we go. We can actually see the POA. So elephants just get an extra 250 POA uh, for the hit. Extra modifier, enemy, enemy unit equation test for impact combat against elephants. So we want to hit them, hit them hard. Um, but of course the thing. But like I said before, it's the disorder when we get hit by um, ranged fire here. So as you can see, we've got the veteran armoured there. We've got tons of cavalry, so we could particularly outmaneuver cav um, the Roman forces here with the amount of cavalry we have. Um, but I'll leave that to you. I'm tempted to go a mix of foot because, like I said, all terrain um, options, if the terrain is hilly and... Uh, rough terrain and we can actually get an advantage on a hill it's always going to be good because like I know this is the change map from what we started off here would be brilliant to have lots of uh, Spanish <coughs> or any medium troops there to hold the line so we're going to look here so we got down to noble cavalry uh, and also plenty of light javelin so if we wanted to decimate the Roman player uh, we could just get loads of these send them out his cavalry uh, really hurt them bad take that advantage straight away off the field but remember a good Roman player would be having trarii blocking them flanks uh, they are perfect to doing that as you can see we are actually able to use a heavy artillery which I don't think is applicable here yet again I, I, I can't see a point to it in this position of course their warband glass hammers use them in the right position against the Sartai principles they may hold up but of course the, the their quality here would probably uh, be affected um, I think it's just um, it's just their average and protected and the Romans are better but the impact is good and I think they are swordsmen so just to get POA versus any mounted there plus uh, and plus 100 POA for unless they're steady offensive spearmen so <coughs> swings roundabouts there uh, then we come down to the backbone of this list is of course the um, veteran uh, sorry the African spearmen, which are a solid unit, solid unit. Given the right POAs of the hill, uh, they will do pretty well. Um, and that's the POAs you want, really. As you can see, we're offensive spearmen, plus pair against any troops, unless spearmen charging at mounted shock troops. So you sit these on a hill, they'll do you proud for a couple of turns. Uh, they really will. And as we come down to the heavy spearmen of the, of the pike phalanx for the hoplites, just a good unit as well, really good units. And then coming down to the lightly equipped spearmen, like I said, using these in combination with the... I mean, I would preferably go with the medium spearmen because the offensive. But at the same time, the Spanish with the impact four, it's a mixed bag there for the same kind of points. Because the, the, when you think about it, the Spanish do have a better ability as being impact and swordsmen, but the spearmen have just offensive spearmen. So it's an interesting combination what you would want there. Then we go down to Italian foot and the Phoenician style foot, which are light spear. Um, I can't remember what light spear gives you again. Light spear versus any unless light. So you get just a plus 100 POA there. <coughs> Still mixed bag, really. And Lugigan foot. And of course, we are able to get quite a, a large quantity as you can see here we have a large quantity of light troops that could really severely damage the roman line if used it correctly and not being engaged too close to their line you could hammer them before they get anywhere so the the carthaginian list is providing terrain um they've got they can have go two ways you go defensive on terrain or aggressive i think um with um good um warbands and elephants but we don't want to get these shot up but also you could really anti-cavalry him to death you could like the battle of canai uh, you could just pile up the cavalry here which i'm tempted to do because it's a lot of points it's a lot of points for this list you know six units of cavalry three elephants steady infantry um also all the light cavalry we've got here i think it's going to cause some major problems for the roman player their own player is going to have to react very defensively or very aggressively uh, to just defeat you straight off the bat before you shoot them up because to be honest that is a scary list at the moment which i'm producing there and that is just off the bat straight away so we could even go another and then if we wanted to we could just go even more mercenary hoplites um but like i said combination it is nice to have some uh, things left in um what's the word defense just in case they do break from my line so i'm tempted this is a good list i like it six units of cavalry three elephants two warbands african spearmen mercenary hoplites and a ton of light infantry that could decimate the roman list he can't have he can't bring the light troops he can bring the he can bring the light javelins but not the slingers not the archers sorry just the slingers we've got and we've, we've got more and we've got the cavalry as well so when you think about it the our cavalry could do two functions it can be anti-skirmish line but also flanking the outflankers uh, but of course terrain 
between all uh, permitting this. But it is an exciting list. This is the, the first Punic Wars against the Romans. Uh, classic setup. Um, and of course, you could put a general in there, make this the, make his own subgroup there. Um, so he gets all them bonuses. Oh, there's actually my C and C there already. <laughs> so there'll be. And that is nasty. Uh, and I feel quite cheesy doing that. But. That will be bringing the pain train to the Romans. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a um, comparison. It's two tough lists here. Um, they both bring some really good advantages with lights and cavalry. Uh, but the Carthaginians have got a lot a lot going from in this setup. Uh, but it all falls down to the dice. And also the terrain is going to be a massive factor. This could be a bad list on a very hilly, um, rough terrain map. But also the Romans can't bring that many light troops that could uh, intervene to this game. And we can. But I like this list. If, it, if we play open, get an open game where I can actually sit and think, I probably will select this list of some description. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to click that like, subscribe button, uh, follow Slytherin, and follow Field of Glory 2 for the next uh, round coming up tomorrow. And we'll catch you later, ladies and gentlemen. And bye bye. <laughs>